This is the first bullet journal that I made three years ago. It was actually not a bullet journal itself because it didn't have any dots on it. It was just a blank notebook that I got for free and I decided to use it as a bullet journal slash planner. As you can see here, even though it looked very cute and very aesthetic, I couldn't keep up with it and I felt like it was too much time consuming and I felt overwhelmed after just a few days I stopped updating the notebook and then after I think a month or two I just ignored it completely. Ever since then I basically convinced myself that having a physical planner is not for me because I'm not that organized. I keep seeing these people keeping a very well organized planner, journal, and I kept saying to myself that it's not for me and it's not realistic for anybody. Now we're gonna move back to the present moment of what I do, how I did it, and how it works for me. You keep hearing people say start small, but how to actually start small is something that has been in the back of my head for a very long time. So believe it or not, I didn't start to have a planner right away. If you're procrastinating, I'm the queen of procrastination. And one day I just decided that enough is enough and I didn't buy myself a planner, but I just took random pieces of paper and I wrote a bunch of to-do lists and I pinned it on the fridge. The reason why I chose the fridge is because the kitchen is where I spend the most of my time in. And as you can see here, a lot of my to-do lists are kind of the same every single day, which is just exercise, meditate, read and write journal. And then there are days I add more stuff. There are days I don't add any more stuff. So if you're like me and you want to change your life, right from this moment. I highly recommend you find a place that you uh, spend the most of the day in and then just simply write a bunch of to-do lists on the piece of paper and pin it on your fridge, your desk, your bed, if that's your vibe. Even though I literally just said that add a bunch of to-do lists here, but I really advise you not to because you're gonna feel overwhelmed. So just add little tasks that you can finish quickly you know, it's going to help you build momentum, tasks that are not too hard to finish, and the tasks that are gonna help you build a healthier, a better habit in the long run. For example, instead of writing cleaning the house, just write wipe the desk clean or clean the floor or declutter your closet, etc. Just little tasks that you can do without overwhelming yourself. Uh, some more little things are like read five pages, meditating for five minutes, do 15 minutes of yoga every day. That's the things that I did that really worked for me. If you're not a physical planner kind of person, then I think there are also apps that you can use. I actually started using Structured for a couple of weeks before I purchased my first planner. I think that it's very convenient to have something on your phone or on your iPad so that it kind of reminds you throughout the day that you have to do this and you have to do that. By the way, at the back of this is the vision board that I did at the end of 2023. I was actually very excited about it, but I feel like it needs some updates. So maybe I'm going to make another video about that vision board in 2024. If you want to buy a physical planner and you're not sure to buy a blank one or a pre-made template one, then I really recommend you to get just get a blank one. It is so easily adjustable. And even if it's not gonna work for you in the long run, you can just use it later as a journal or as a sketchbook, whatever. So when I had a physical journal with me this time, I decided to not go crazy. I mean, we learn a lesson eventually. Uh, so I used just half of the page to do a very basic to-do list and then another half of the page I use it as a daily journaling section that I do at the end of every evening. I know that it looks bland and not aesthetics as you see a lot online but it works and it keeps me coming back every single day to plan my day ahead. So I highly recommend you to keep it as basic as possible, but also keep in mind that you can adjust it if you need. A lot of people find that time blocking schedules really work for them where they just write exactly what they do 
every hour of the day, morning, afternoon, evening, I find that it doesn't work for me. And I feel like I need some kind of flexibility during my day. So I just write to-do list and I will finish it within the day. Also, seriously, just forget the aesthetics. You can just get creative and decorate the days that you want instead of fixing your mind on it and postpone it because you have to decorate it every time you open your planner. It's just too much work. Once you feel like you get the hang of it and you're used to it, then you can add more pages. There are a lot of pages ideas that you can find on Pinterest. But here, after a while, I decided to get another journal, the black one. I got it for my journaling purposes only and the nude one, I use it for daily planning. And I also have that mini journal, as you can see, I use it very randomly. Sometimes I write my action plans, my goals. Sometimes I just want to sketch or doodle or write my garden log, food log. And sometimes I even do some creative journaling. It's fun. After a while of simply doing the daily to-do list, um, like in the video, I decided to make my first month at a glance so that I can kind of plan my month ahead of time. It doesn't have any big task on it, by the way. It just reminds me that weekly I need to fertilize my plants. Sometimes I need to maintain my plants by trimming it. Or Sunday is usually the day that I do some reset. And Thursday I do mini reset where I clean a little bit and I do a lot of self-care to kind of like wind down and re reflect what I did well and what didn't go well throughout the week. I might add more pages. I'm thinking a habits tracker and kind of like a budget planner as well. But anyways, I hope that you have a lot of fun with your planner and I hope that you find what really works for you. Seriously, if you do something and it doesn't work, change it. It's your life. It's literally your life and I cannot tell you what to do. But I can tell you that you're allowed to have fun and you're allowed to believe in yourself. So stay tuned and I will see you in my next video. Bye.